Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, SAPSD and ABAP League Support. So in this video, we will discuss about how to monitor the IDAX. So we have two kind of IDAX are there: inbound IDAX, direction is two; outbound IDAX, direction is one. So whenever any IDAX comes to our system or goes out from our system. And how can we monitor? What are the T codes available for this to monitor? Fine. So the first T code that's come to our mind is WE02. In WE02, we can uh, try to get all the required IDAX generated during that period of time and uh, direction wise. So one means outbound, two means inbound IDAX. For example, if I give one and if I execute this, so I will get list of outbound IDAX only. You see this, and uh, I can see here the left side message type wise IDAX are displayed here. So if I click this, uh, this is the one message type COD replicate sales order, and if I double click this one, I will get the IDAX relevant for this message type and if I want to see this pricing related IDAX means it's a con DA is the pricing related message type double click here you see this IDAX here likewise we can look for message type wise under outbound section if we give direction as 1 if you give direction as 2 means it's inbound IDAX so here also same thing happens message type wise we can see the list of data in the right side left side will be the content right side will be the IDAC data and you can double click any of these IDACs and go inside and look for segments available here and if you want to filter only the 51 status then what we can do we can give 51 here execute or uh, if you want to display only the successful IDAX means 53 status means 53 and execute. So like this we can uh, list out all the relevant IDAX generated during this point of time. And uh, if you want to look for an IDAX based on that uh, IDAX type that's basic type and enhancement means extension and logical message that is uh, message types orders or drsp invite like this also we can go and search it and if you want to display the data business under partner number means that is also possible here we can enter the sender partner number partner type partner role and port number also and we can execute it will display the required data So this is one of the decode that is WE02. One more is the it's a WE05. WE02, WE05, both are same only, but I don't know the reason why SAP yes, provided two decodes the same functionality. If you guys know about this, please do let me know in the comment section. I will also learn from you. Yeah, one more decode is there WE09. So WE09 is used to search the IDAX based on the content right so you see here if you want to look for like a, there is one segment and the segment has this value means you can mention segment name here and value and which field which value you can search like that and display the relevant IDAX suppose you are looking for an uh, IDAX which created the order for that IDAX or if you want to see that uh, order response IDAC for that order means we can simply mention that uh, first we should know that which segment having that order number then only we can enter the segment here after that we should know the field name and value then if you execute means it will obviously display the all the required data here so these are the major uh, three t codes which we will be using to 
monitor the edX both inbound and outbound. But in my project, what we did is that So in my project, we have a lot of uh, interfaces are there. Like uh, order create interface, order change interface, and order acknowledgement. And order create interface for uh, US, for example, and order change for uh, US. Acknowledgement also for US, and we have some other order create interface. This time it's for other countries. Okay, it's, this time it's for Europe, for example. And same thing for uh, change interface, also we have Europe. And uh, this one also for Europe. In some cases, we have different vendors are there who will push the data to our system to get an order so that time we'll mention that uh, vendor gxs right and again change interface gxs acknowledgement is a uh, gxs right so and uh, similar way we have some idux to record the changes happened in the customer master Right, customer master interface. The customer master interface and uh, and the customer create interface in our system like deb mass, right? And uh, material create interface. Right, so like this, we have several interfaces in my project, right? So usually business users can access SAP system, but they can't access certain SAP T codes, right? And moreover, business user doesn't have any knowledge about the IDAX, like uh, IDAX basic type, message type, extension, Sender partner, they don't have that mu that much knowledge about that IDAX. They will see whether IDAX generated or not. So they don't have anything about partner profile, nothing. They don't know anything about that. So for those kind of users, we can't give access to WE02 or 05 or 09. It, it it's of no use because they don't know anything about message types or extensions or basic types, right? So in this case, what we did in my project is that we have created one T code. Okay, custom T code has been developed. My project, for example, Jed IDOC monitor. So if we execute this T code, we can see all these nodes here, like a tree. So business can see these nodes. If they execute this T code, they can see all of these nodes 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 let me tell you that it's a node okay nodes if i and it's a hyperlink kind of thing so if they click this any of the node it will it will uh, open one more window where they can see the idocs relevant to this interface only and if they click this node they can see the data relevant to this node only so in a way we are helping the business users to monitor the incoming and outbound idux based on their request this it will be very helpful and useful and not only our sd team every team in my project using this t code it's a generic t code used for different models p2p mm logistics customer master material master every team We'll use this T code here. We'll be adding keep on the nodes whenever we develop any new interface. And this inter the intention of this uh, T code is to give access to business and who can monitor that IDUX in the live system production system day to day. 
okay so this is a short video about the zydeco monitoring in sap hope this video will be very helpful please please do subscribe to my channel and give me your support we can catch up in the next video thanks everyone